So in this daily math episode, we have the first four terms in an arithmetic sequence, and they're given by 5, 9, 13, and 17. And the question tells us to write an expression for the nth and the n plus first term. Now, when we look at these numbers, we need to um, see a few things. Firstly, what are they going up in, and what is the first term? And thankfully, there's actually a beautiful formula which can actually give us the answer in one go. So all, we need, all we're concerned about is how did it start and what is the change, okay? This is the two questions you ask yourself. How does it start and why does it change? We can say, we can let A be the first term here. So let A be 5 and D be the common difference. Thankfully, they're going up in the same numbers. If they weren't, then we need to find something known as the changing difference. But there is no changing difference. It's only going up in plus 4. Okay, now what is the expression? So the expression is, so we can say that the expression for finding an nth term is always going to be like this. It's going to be the first term plus the difference and it's multiplied by n minus 1. Okay, yes, this means that for any nth position, you take it 1 back and then you add a to it. So it means, for example, let's try and find um, the fifth term, yeah, using the formula. So the fifth term means when n equals 5, right? So let's plug in all the values. So we've got a is 5, firstly, plus d is 4, and we're going to multiply against 5 minus 1. So what's it going to give us? So the 5 minus 1 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 at 5 is 21. And is that 4, plus 4, is that 4 greater than 17? Yes, it is. So actually, this formula works perfectly. We can use this to find any position. So therefore, to summarize, the nth term, we can write here, is going to be literally 5 plus 4 times n minus 1. And that's it. And I guess we could simplify as so we can expand it. And this is going to give us, so we can multiply, you get 4n minus 4. So we're going to get 4n minus 4 plus 5 will give us plus 1. And that's it. That's, that's your chain. That's your nth term. And literally, if you want to find the nth plus first term, you just plug in n plus 1 instead for n. Just like how we plugged in n is 5, yeah? So now, using the same equation, this part, we just plug in n plus 1. So therefore, we have 4 bracket n plus 1, plus 1. And this gives us 4n plus 4 plus 1. So it'll give us 4n plus 5. And that's it, guys. That's how you find the nth term and the nth plus first term. Yeah, and if you get and well, like I put in the beginning, if you enjoyed this video, please share this with your friends. Pass this out, and um, I'll be producing every day. I will always be producing a new mass video every single day. Okay. Anyways, take it and have a great day. Ciao now.